Hi guys, welcome to Lucky's first video progress report and today we are working on adding time with his face in the muzzle. So last time we were here we were building a positive association with the muzzle by comparing it with another random object and teaching him that this particular object, which is new, uh, gets him food. And then the next step that he was taking was if he would touch it, yes, offer by touching it himself. So basically giving him enough opportunity to develop a positive association and then want to offer some type of behavior which is typically touch. Now we're taking a step further and we're looking for him to not only touch it but to offer his face in it. So we're kind of doing um, a game here. I have the two types of treats. I have a medium value or a low value to toss away to give him a break and I have a highest value in which if he holds his face in or he offers putting his face in he will get that one. So this one tastes better but he also has an opportunity to take a break. The reason we do this is because wearing a muzzle at, for a first few times can be stressful, so we wanna make sure that he does have a choice whether he wants to do this or not, but also convincing him that this choice is the tastier choice. So showing you what that looks like, and I'll talk about this in just a second. So, he touched it, I'll give him a medium value, but if he wants the really good stuff, he's gonna to have to put his face in here. I'm gonna give him a break because he's angled in the wrong position, so I'm just gonna to toss a treat in this direction. When he comes back to me, he'll be in the right position, and I'm looking for him to offer putting his face in there. I'm not showing him, and I'm also not trying to lure him too much because we've done this a few times. If I need to lure him, I will, but I do want this to be a decision that he makes on his own. Lucky. All right, so I'm gonna lure him because he's a little confused. We were practicing this in a different position, so this is a classic case of generalization. I moved myself, so it just got weird. So all I'm gonna do is just lure his face through. Yes, good job, good job, good job, good. Take a break. Okay, lure him again. Yes, good job. Notice that the treat delivery is coming from inside of the muzzle here. I'm not going to let him take the treat outside of the muzzle because he needs to know that the muzzle itself is what is rewarding him, not him just sticking his face in and then, you know, tossing his face out. We want to build time and associations with the muzzle, not a treat coming outside of the muzzle. So tossing a treat away again. Again, this is low value that I'm tossing away to give him a break. Break. But when he comes back this time, I do not want to lure him. Yes, this time he offered it. And as you can see, he's holding his face. Now, obviously, he's holding his face because I am rewarding him with, you know, serious succession of rewards. Good job. Good. Okay, good boy. However, he offered his face and held it for about a second before I was able to get the treat to him, and that's a really good sign. Break. Oh, did you ignore your break? Okay, there's a break that way, too. Okay. And again, seeing if he will offer that same behavior. Yes. Now, as you can see, the marking word here is instrumental. Um, if he does not know exactly what he's getting rewarded for, this is not going to stick. So if you like him sticking his face in the muzzle on his own, make sure you are saying yes and you are giving him that high value. If you don't do the yes, he may pull his face out too soon, right? The moment I say yes, he realizes, oh, this is the thing you like, and he leaves his face in a little bit longer. Yes! And there I'm actually holding, yes, good. I'm withholding a treat. This time I kind of held it back and then gave it to him, held it back, then gave it to him. This is promoting, yes, good job. This is asking him to, he's actually offering keeping his face in it. Now just a second ago, he just lifted his paw. He's doing this for two reasons. For one, um, shake or paw is the easiest behavior for him. It's probably something you guys taught him because it was cute. Um, and now this is his most offered behavior because he knows that you guys like it. The other reason that he did it was because he may have felt just slightly uncomfortable having this on his face. So even though this session is going great, it's still really important to know that you should take your time with having him offer his face and building time and wearing the muzzle before we just start clasping it, which we haven't even got to yet. So as you are practicing this, ignore these all of these straps. This is just to stay out of the way for the time being. We will cross that road when he's ready. Another thing to be mindful of is I did take the center strap off that's supposed to go right here. We typically do this just because that center strap usually resides between their eyes and we find, yes, good job. We find that a lot of dogs really don't like that strap. It's not really necessary if you've properly trained them to wear the muzzle. And that strap is good for if the dogs try to take it off, right? It's like, they got several uh, points where it's connected to them. 
but it's really hard to desensitize that particular strap. So if they're comfortable with wearing the muzzle, you will not need that center strap. But I did put that strap in the box of the muzzle, so you guys do still have it if you would like to practice with it. You just have to loop it back on, it's very easy. All right, let's see if he'll offer it again. Yes, good job, good job. And notice again, I am not lowering his face through here. Okay, very good. He is doing this all, yes, good job. He's doing it all on his own. Good job, good boy. And I'm gonna give him a break. Like, Again, brakes, low value, muzzle, high value. And today I am using um, cheese and hot dogs as his highest value. But he's getting very, very, very small amounts. He gets more the longer he holds his face in. If he just holds it in for just a split second, that's all he gets is a split second of cheese. Hey, my cheese. Which was his name? Oh, yes, a good boy, yes. Good job, good job, yes, good. Good. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good. So just there, I wanted to see if I could pet him while he was wearing it. And the moment that I touched his side, he pulled his face out. That also lets me know he's not quite comfortable with handling while he's muzzled. And that would be the next step. Before we even start to mess with the straps, I need to see, are you willing to let me touch you in other places, parts of your body, such as by your ears, before I start dragging a strap on by? Because as you can see, putting the strap and then clipping it, which is the last part, this sound can be very unsettling behind your ears. So we wanna make sure that he's prepared for everything. But he did fantastic today, very, very proud of him. Gonna to continue to work on this. Y'all's homework is just to do this number. If you would like to do an easier exercise to build time with his face in the muzzle, one other thing that you can do is grab a bowl or a Tupperware, right? And you see how he's sticking his face in here? Dogs naturally know that food goes in bowls. So you can use this bowl, you put the muzzle in it, super easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and then just put some treats in here. And it's kind of like you just turned your muzzle into a Kong. But the only way that he can get those treats out of those bowls is if he sticks his face in the muzzle. So all we're doing is getting him to accustomed to wearing this muzzle. Yes, good job. Good boy. Good job, good. So this is another alternate exercise that you guys can do. It's so simple. Be mindful that when you do this, if you choose to do the bowl exercise, you do need to be present you are still going to want to mark it with yes, everything that you like. But most importantly, you're gonna to wanna to be present because you don't want him figuring out that he can pull the muzzle out and then potentially chew on it. I don't think Lucky has the destructive part of him wanting to destroy the muzzle per se, but we don't want him figuring that out regardless. Oh my goodness, you're so smart. That's a good boy. So as you can see, figuring out how to get these treats, you gotta get it through the muzzle. So very, very easy. You guys have fun practicing this. I'm very excited with his progress. He's doing fantastic. And we're really looking forward to getting it strapped and getting it moving, uh, wearing it. So if you guys have any questions, you let us know. And we'll see ya. <laughs>